Guys, we finally, finally got a new car. You guys have no idea how much money we spent on rentals the past two months. Insane. Literally an insane amount. Insane amount of car rentals. We got a cute little GLA, GLC, GLT, whatever. A little Benz. Um, she's a little SUV moment. Very cute. Very spacious. Love the panoramic, like sunroof, all the way to the back. Um, she's a cutie, yo. And I, I, this is like the first car that I actually get myself. So it's a very, very proud moment. So yeah, I'm just very, very happy that that part is over. Like, I feel like finally we're like coming into like one with California, like all of our shits together. We figured everything out. Now it's just time to just like hustle, work hard, grind, focus on work. Because <laughs> I feel like we've been going, going, going nonstop. And everybody that we talk to is like, you guys literally don't stop doing stuff. And I'm like, I know. The thing is, like, California, like, there's always something to do here. And as you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram, my family comes. Literally, every other week we have somebody here. They're just really excited that we moved. And they, most of them have never been to California. We have a space big enough to host people. And that's why we also got, like, a big town home so that we could have people come. So we love it. It's really, like, intense because you have to host people, get some kind of work done, but then when they're gone, really, really hustle and work and like don't stop until another round of people come or whatever. But it's fine, we love it. Um, we went to Mexico last week, but it was kind of like a mess in the sense of like the weather and the situation that we were in was not like, was not a vibe. So we were in Mexico for literally less than 24 hours, which really, 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 really sucked. We ended up making the best of it, going to San Diego, hanging out there for like two days or a day and a half, and we had literally the best time. So that was very exciting and fun, but also very, very draining. So I told Jason, I said, I need a vacation from that situation because that was a stressful girl. But all in all, we had such a good time. Yeah, we need a proper vacay. Like, when was the last time we took a vacation? I honestly don't remember. Have we traveled this year? This year, guys, all we've done is go to California. Like, we haven't... Our last vacation, I think, was like Cabo um, in the fall. Me and Jason had a vacation, like just us two. And like, you guys might, I don't want you guys to take it the wrong way because we do travel a lot and like we're always doing stuff. But like, we have been doing all the stuff because of like we the move, you know? We traveled to California like five times before we even moved here, which may seem like vacation to some of you guys, but for me, it was just me trying to get my life together and you know like it's been a toll emotionally physically financially so i know you guys think i live my best life which i am but just know the reality of my situation that you know on instagram you always want to make things look great and amazing but behind the scenes girl it's been tough girl but you know i don't let us sweat so happy that i'm here with jason living in la getting accustomed to it getting to learn people here the culture and it's just like a lot of things that I've had to get used to in the past couple of like what two months that I've been here already but all in all I love it uh, that's a little update of my life since last time we vlogged I think uh, we're gonna take my brother to this really really like famous gym that he wants to go to but I will so we're gonna drop him off and he's gonna go do stuff and then tonight we have an event this week is really jam-packed with events so that should be really really fun very exciting so yeah take you guys along for the day Drinking my double espresso chiaro, espresso. Cheers to the weekend or whatever time you're watching this. Guilty pleasure. Bro, every time you go shopping, we get pretzels. It's like ever since we've been married, we do this shit. Literally. Um, Gotta go this way. Oh yeah. So we're done shopping. We're gonna show you guys what we got when we get home. But I'm trying to find dunks or shoes. You're not gonna find dunks here. You're gonna find colorful shoes. You have no faith in me. No, I just know the I shoe just game. Some colorful Nikes or something. I just know the shoe game. You should just hit the sneaker plug up. Hi. Sneaker plug, where you at? Your sneaker plug. Pick me up. I don't know what your name is. Oof. That shopping was a little dangerous, sister. Um, but you know what? To be fair, I never spend money on stuff because I always get stuff sent to me. So it's nice for me to buy stuff sometimes. What did I buy? I just buy, oh, just shorts. I literally say, hey, I gotta go to the mall and buy shorts. And this girl comes out with shoes, clothes. What else you buy? A Louis Vuitton. Sister, no I didn't. I got it for my birthday. Oh, I never show you guys. What I got on my birthday from Louis, I got a perfume. And then I got this um this car holder. That's all I wanted, guys. It's like the monogram, two-tone, oh, so freaking cute. I still have my Florida license. Um, I'm kind of like holding on to that. I don't know when we have to get a California license. Uh, I don't think I'm ever ready to get one. 
Yeah, me either. Um, we probably might have to, but um, yeah, we're now on our way to get my brother from the gym. It's called Sue What? Sue Jungle? Sue Theory? And he spent like 60 bucks to go work out. I said, ain't a workout worth Sue Culture. Sue Culture. Ain't a workout worth $60 to me. This is a membership, but that's how badly he wanted to go work out at this place. Um, so now we're gonna go home, make some lunch. I'll probably go on a walk with Trooper while Jason cooks. And then I'm gonna do like a try on haul. I'm gonna get ready for the day. We'll do the try on haul and then we'll see what the day takes us. The event tonight. So I gotta see what I'm gonna wear for that. Also, we're going on a little vacation at the end of the month. Where exactly are we going? Rancho Mirage. Where? It's in Palm Springs. Well, it's a little bit past Palm Springs. We're staying at the Ritz Carlton over there. Two days, right? Two nights, yeah. Mm, we should say one more night. Three nights, sister. Bro, I need a vacation, Carlson. bro. Two nights is perfect. This is the thing. This is the thing. This is the thing. I want to lay on a freaking chair with drinks and tan, not be on my phone, do absolutely nothing, shoot content, and just like get away. That's all I want, Jason. I understand. So hopefully we can make that happen. Oh, look at him over there. Where? That's him. Uh. <laughs> Why is he all the way over there? That's my brother looking all. Okay, first impressions. He was dope. He's, uh, yeah. Did you meet him? Nah, he's in Miami. Uh, he literally came here to meet him and he's not here. <laughs> What's his name? Bradley Martin. But mm. when I come back in August, hopefully I'll meet him. So you worked out for two hours? No, not an hour and a half. Was it worth it? Yeah, it was worth it. Was it worth the $60? Knowing you. Knowing him, hell no. Hell no. Yeah, it was worth it. It's an experience. Would I but come what? Are, what? What's the experience? All the people that go there. All the girls. The, not the the famous influencers that, that you see right. every day on YouTube. You know. Hey, you were you were like fangirling. Fanboying, yeah. Fanboying. Um, well, I'm happy you enjoy your workout because I shop till I drop. What do you buy? No essentials. Um, yeah, we're Bro, gonna go home. Should, we should take you to that mall. You got H and M there. Their shirts for like five bucks. Okay, when he comes. When he comes again, we'll go shopping. But anyways, we're gonna go home now. Damn, you, you smell like ass, bro. You do smell like ass. I thought it was me. And I shade shirts too. Huh? I shade shirts. She shade shirts. If you guys think my accent is bad, obviously you have not met my brother. But there's that. Okay, guys. So here are the bags from today's shopping. Cutting on finish line and H and M. And then this went somewhere like two Galax two C shirts. But I'm just gonna show you guys what's. I got really quickly. First, we got some new Nike socks because the ones that we have, they're almost like gray. Like, oh my God, they're like the worst. So we definitely needed a new pad because when we wore them with our sneakers, compared to like our white sneakers, they look completely a different color. And then I went ahead and got two pairs of shoes because I've been needing to get workout shoes and like I just wanted like another shoe of like for the summer and stuff. So I grabbed these Zoom workout sneakers i actually got them in a kid size look at how freaking cute these are i got them in a kid size six and a half i'm normally an eight eight and a half but sometimes kids shoes run big so close up of them they look super super cute they're very very comfortable i have a link down below and then these shoes i was saying crazy about if you guys don't like them i'll probably return them because i was like you need to try new things out and i was like okay that's fine so I grabbed some Jordans and the only reason why I picked them up is because they're black and they have like this nice peachy cream color that can go as of pink, but I think they're so cute. I normally don't wear like low tops like this. I've never had black low tops, so I'm kind of like sketched out, but I think they're so cute. I can even wear them probably with this outfit. I don't know, but what do you guys think? Do we love them? I think they're super, super cute. Also got them in a kit size. These are six and a half as well. Up next, we got these. I got these pants from H&M. They're like those like Palazzo pants right here. Super, super cute. I only have them in black and I feel like these flare pants are really, really in style right now. So I grabbed this. I might wear this tonight, I don't know, but I was just in need of some like new colors, new styles and stuff. I grabbed this um, Sprite t-shirt in extra small. Uh, I got it in extra small because I think I'm gonna crop it like that so that's exactly what i'm gonna do it's super cute and i actually saw it when i went there like two weeks ago and i was like oh if i see it again i'll buy it it was like 12 bucks but then i grabbed this green dress that i got it in a size medium i gotta try it on and see how it looks but i thought it was super super cute nice and short for vacay or just for like lingerie like just to dress up with some sneakers i originally wanted to get some like um green dunks but 
I can't find them in store. I have to get them online. But I thought these were cute and also and only $12, guys. I also grabbed these boy um, swimwear because look at how shocking these are. Oh my god, they're so pretty. I have a bathing suit, the same color. And I just want to wear different things that no one's wearing. So I was like, let me go in the boys section. So I feel this would be really, really cute to pair up with the pink bikini. So I grabbed a set. Well, not really. I just made a mouse set. I need sweats. For some reason, I don't have long sweats. So these are from H&M. They were $17. Like a nice taupey color. And then I got a matching shirt, like a crop shirt to go with it. Just because I need some variety. I'm always wearing the same stuff like essentials and stuff so I think H&M really has been killing it lately back home I never shopped at H&M um I think I started shopping at H&M when I moved here so these two socks from Cotton On they're like gray and white with no logo just because I want to wear like different sneakers or gray for just variety I think that'd be really really cute yeah and that was my haul it is currently now like four or five o'clock the boys are taking a nap I'm gonna go make a smoothie or something because I'm hungry and then we're gonna get ready to go to the drive-in. Oh my god. Also, I put my hair in. It's been a second since I don't put my extensions in and I'm doing a poll on Instagram and you guys seem to love the short hair on me more. But I feel like also like the mom hair on me is kind of a vibe. <laughs> I mean, that's just my opinion, right? I really love my long hair. I've always, I always have. Um, these are from Luxie. I have them down below. Nice and long. Beautiful. I just live and thrive for good hair. I'm making my brother vlog me right now. So we're going to the Eva event. Adrian's first PR event. I'm sure he's very excited. Uh, he made me a smoothie. What did you put? Um, what was it? Um, I don't know. <laughs> strawberries, blueberries. Why are you gonna talk so deep? <clears throat> it was strawberry. Oh, the lighting. Yes. It was strawberry, blueberries. Why are you talking so deep? <laughs> my voice. <laughs> it was strawberry, blueberries, and mangoes. Protein. No, no protein. But uh, peanut butter. Well, she wanted that peanut butter powder, so I put some A of that. Peanut butter. It'll taste this. Taylor Joe's banana bread is so good. We didn't get to eat before the event, so. Let me get a piece. Wow. Look, guys, this is what she gives me. They have been liking the pancake one from Trader Joe's. They tore it up. Banana bread from Trader Joe's. Mm. It's not still? I give it a... Why are you breathing on me? Oh, you're sitting down for this. Good? I give it a 7 out of 10. Wow. So, Honestly, it's not as best. It's alright. Get it though. It's really good. Oh, and it's vegan, so... Love that for you guys. And then, here's a pancake one. They've been like tearing it up, but... Me wanting attention. Sorry, Pop. You're not coming. Guys, he is so spoiled. He's also very uncomfortable. Oh, his head is on the thing. Oh, his toy's right there. Pop. You ready, babe? I'll be waiting for you. You've been waiting for me for a We've been waiting for you. Nice hat, bro. What's it say? La Platica. Oh, subscribe to the Platica, guys. The best podcast. The best Spanish podcast in Los Angeles. Hey, guys. Happy Sunday. Currently having like major FOMO right now because everybody seems to be on vacation and out and about and this is a time that I really wish we had a pool or something like that. The beach is really close to us but just to drive out there to the beach is like very insane. My bathing suit is from Nasty Go. I have a link for you guys but I think I'm gonna buy like a floaty that I can like put water in or something. For now, whenever I just want to like get some sun, dip my toe in some water and do with my FOMO. But I found this that I've had for like two years already. It's this fun boy uh, floaty that I got from Urban Outfitters like a long time ago. And I ended up bringing it here to LA because I was like, it's probably going to live its best life here. So I'm going to have decent blow it up and then I'm going to lay on it on a towel. But I'm going to look on Amazon and see if I can find a fun boy floaty that I can put water inside. There's this fun boy like heart shaped floaty. That you can like fill it up with water and like take it to the beach and stuff. So I think I'm gonna get that one. But for now, this one will do. They have other ones too. We'll see. She's a cutie. You could take her when we go to like any like hotel or anything. I don't think you can take this to the hotel. I'm saying like if you go to like an Airbnb. Yeah, 
sure. This me laying on that would be great. After I dried a tan, guys, it was way too hot. Like laying down without pool or like anything, it's really hard. <laughs> I was just roasting and sweat for no reason. But anyways, I want to show you guys this thing that I bought at the farmer's market today. I couldn't help myself to get these candles for the beauty room. They're from the Greenwood shop. I'll see if I can find them down below. You guys, look at how freaking pretty these are. They're like tie-dye colored twisted candles. And I'm gonna put them here in the room. Oh my God, those are so freaking cool and vibey. I freaking love them. I have this little stand right here. Like, how freaking cool is that? I don't know about you, but that is like a major like vibe for me. I might have to like rearrange it like the other way. I don't know, let me figure it out real quick. Okay, not permanent solution, but I think it's just so much fun. Honestly, like it's my creative workspace. So anything that feels good to me goes. Cause that means I'm gonna get my creative juices flowing, but I think it's definitely a vibe. Maybe with like a shorter vase, but I don't know. I think it's cute. It does the job, gets me, makes me happy. Seeing all this color in here. I'm gonna light it and see how everything looks. Well guys, here's my OOTD. Little dress moment. Farmer's market is probably gonna be hot. Wore a little yellow for some color, you know, now that it's summertime. And I'm bracing my short hair because you guys apparently love short hair more on me. I have a little bag right here with my extra stuff to shoot just in case I get around to it. Where are my platform sneakers because these are the best sneakers I own, so let's try. Hey guys, good morning. Um, today is Monday and it's Money Making Moves Monday. There's a guy that I follow on Instagram. He's literally hilarious. He's my Monday inspiration. You guys need to follow him because he is amazing. But getting some work done um, early this morning. Got all the paperwork here, my binder, got the coffee, my phone. About to edit a makeup video and try to get in the swing of things, guys. Um, I think I always say that, but oh my god, the track is showing. I need to wash my hair, but I don't know if I wash it today because I have yoga on Wednesday. That only gives me three days with good hair. I have an event, a really important event on Thursday. It's like washing your hair is literally like a situation. I think I'm gonna end up washing it because I'd rather be presentable with good hair than like dirty hair. I'm going to an event tonight as well. Another drive-in, but the drive-in on Saturday, um, I barely got any footage of it because I was just meeting people and it was really dark. I actually ended up meeting people that I really, really wanted to meet and other influencers that I followed for years. So it's nice to go to this event to like network, finally meet them face to face and build more relationships. So I was just really, really in the moment. Um, but today, I will vlog today's event. Um, I'm gonna get some work done. We have an exciting call um, in 30 minutes. Jesus should be here. He's running some errands. I was like, you have to be here by 11 with a, with a brand that I've never worked with. I've always received PR from them for years and years and years and years. So hopefully this can lead into something, but I am so excited and so pumped. I am like so giddy right now because it's just like crazy to get to work with these brands that you love so much. So hopefully the call goes well. And um, yeah, trying to work on a couple things for you guys this year. See what I can cook up for you. Social media is so funny and every, every day looks different. Every month looks different and every year looks different for everybody. So it's good to just take it one day at a time. I'm trying to just focus on working, not giving up, not getting sidetracked, not, not let other things like followers or things like that distract me from the bigger picture. So. That's my little rant this morning. I want to take my brother to this restaurant in Santa Monica. So that's going to be the highlights of today's vlog and whatever happens in between. Shout out to the Nelk mother <laughs> boys. Happy dad. Ooh, watermelon. You know, it's sold out, but I got the plug even in LA. It is what it is. Sponsored by Happy Dad. Happy Dad, try them, try them out. We haven't even tried them yet. I'm actually excited to try them. Put one of these in the refrigerator right now. I want a watermelon one. Wow, we're so excited about this. Our last dinner with the bro. If we're heading to the airport, this is Blue Play Oyster in Santa Monica. Got the crispy shrimp, so freaking good. Jason is being so petty because he didn't want me to get the shrimp. 
And he's like dying to try this shrimp. But I guess we'll eat it up. You gotta dip it here first. And then dip it in the sauce. Dude, that roll looks insane. You about to get slapped. Shari tiene un culo bien grande. Hey. You got to take the first bite on camera. The lobster roll. <laughs> He's not very expressive, but he loves it. No? Mm -hmm. Got this mac and cheese. Girl, everything. No one's gonna cheer me? Cheers, hottie. Cheers.